was in the JR hospital and sent to the night shelter because I'd been made homeless. And the people, staff at the JR hospital actually made me an appointment at Luther Street Surgery. And then once I was in the shelter, soon afterwards, the medical centre was opened and attached. Uh, Luther Street Medical Centre is a GP surgery based in Oxford City Centre uh, and we treat the primary healthcare needs uh, of those experiencing homelessness. It's designed to treat patients who are difficult and chaotic and wh whom other surgeries would very often seek to keep off their books. We actually provide drop-in appointments Monday to Friday for GPs, nurses, uh, addiction specialists uh, and a mental health practitioner. As with all practices in the UK, we have a patient participation group. This is a group of patients who meet together to tell us what they think about our service and to help us shape how we can make it better. We come together as a group to, to make suggestions um, about how, how we think the surgery can be improved or to provide feedback for things that we think are working really well. It's their place where they can have a voice about their experience of using healthcare services here at Luther Street. I imagine so that they can provide the best service possible, the most appropriate service possible to their patients, so they can tailor the service they offer to our needs. So we're working with a hard to reach group and that means we have to go out to people. We've actually gone out to meet the patients where they're living, in a, either in the overnight hostel or in a, in a rehab centre. It's informal and, it is, um, and it's relaxed and it's held in a space away from the surgery neutral territory if you like. It enables us to to actually get the patients involved where otherwise perhaps they wouldn't come to the surgery just for the PPG. Um, there's a two-way dialogue between the staff here and the group which is facilitated by an independent um, chairperson. And I simply provide a, an opportunity for the patients to voice their opinions freely and anonymously. But you're free to speak your mind and there won't be any kind of price to pay for that in terms of your treatment at the surgery. The surgery here take the feedback from the PPG really importantly. They always respond to any questions they're asked by the PPG. They'll attend meetings if they're invited. It really is a partnership. Uh, we as a staff team believe we've listened to the patients over the last few years and one of the great improvements is we've enhanced our uh, security and safety measures um, and actually have CCTV uh, facilities inside and outside the building. A big thing that's come out of the PPG meetings is the idea of having a suggestions box put into the surgery waiting room and it's always open with um, one of the patients there so that we know that there isn't um, you know, the, the, the staff aren't going in there and filtering anything out. I mean, even during the meeting, it's, you pick up from the patients that they, they appreciate us being there, they appreciate us asking questions and getting their feedback. You know, the attitude towards the PPG is so good among the staff here that there is a sense that it's not a pointless exercise. Asking people who have real experience of something how it can be changed or how it's working or where it's strong and where it's weak is going to give you the most real and realistic perspective.